Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. So today, I'm going to show you what the homemade texture paste I made the other day looks like on a canvas, dried. You guys were asking uh, how it worked and how it came out. So I'm going to do a canvas and I'm going to show you. This is just a canvas. This actually is the canvas that was sitting here when I was doing the uh, marbling medium. And this is the... Listen to that. That is the baking soda texture paste that uh, I made. And it is delicious. Hard. It dried overnight. Not a big deal. And um, if you're interested in seeing it, I, it will be, the link will be down below or at the end of this video, you'll see it, um, a clickable link. So very easy, very inexpensive. Uh, it took no time to make. And let me show you. I want to show you one thing, and you'll see I hardly have any left because I've been using it. It does happen to, or it doesn't have too much right now. When I opened it to use it, a little bit of liquid was on top. And all you have to do is stir it. And if you see, you can see how thick it got. I mean, it got really thick, um, which is good. It's what you want. If it's too thick, if it settles up and, you know, it's a little too thick for you, just add a little bit more water and it thins it out and it is delish. So I also recommend to take a um, piece of plastic wrap and like push it down on the bottom and then put the lid on it just so it doesn't get, uh, I, I don't know, it just preserves it a little bit. But yeah, it's still deliciously thin and you can, you know put it on here and it works great. It dried very quickly and I love it. So definitely try it if you do not have texture paste um, or if you just want to save a couple extra bucks because it, it dried wonderful. It's not scraping. It's, it's nice. So I want to do some, a, a dark background today. That's what we're going to do is a dark background on here. I love the texture. All I did was I painted it on and took my uh, paintbrush and just kind of, you know, added some texture in it and then just let it dry. Not a big deal. I had some colors here, but I think I'm going to go with this uh, Martha Stewart. And I cannot see the color because it's on here, but it's a, like a mint green. And I'm going to go with black. Um, I'm going to lay my green down first and it's satin. So I'm just going to give it a little shake. I love greens, green and black. I don't know why, but I'm just going to kind of squirt it in a few different places to start. I'm going to take my big paintbrush that I used. It's wet. I'm going to just dab it off. I don't need it too dry. I don't need it too wet. And now listen, if you want, you don't have to use a paintbrush. You can, excuse me, use a old credit card, gift card, piece of cardboard, anything that you have, and you can scrape it if you want. If you want it more, you know, almost a, as an organic kind of look, you can see it kind of scrapes up what you have there. So you definitely can do this as well. I like doing this at the end to like take it over so it just touches that top that top color. Um, I think I want a little darker green as well. <laughs> Let's do this darker green right here. This is, what color are you? Spearmint. Spearmint green. Oh, I didn't open spearmint green. That's why. <laughs> oh, Lord, Kel. This is the color. It's like a, almost a blue green. I mean, it is spearmint. I don't want too much of it, but I just want a little, just a few little dabs will do ya. Just to kind of mix it in. And you can see it pooling on that uh, top texture, which I love. And like I said, I will, I might do, you know what I might do? I might do the black like that. I might really work the green in here. Maybe add one more green. I mean, Halloween's coming. Let's do green and black. That's what I'm going to do. I 
I do. I will say I do love these Martha Stewart paints. They're nice and creamy and they really uh, work well. I don't have much of an issue with them. They spread nice. All right, this color is Lily Pad. Obviously, I gotta open that. If you, can you see, I have this down pat. When you have, especially these Martha Stewart, when you go to unscrew the lid and you wanna take that little thing off, I just kinda pull it and it comes right off. Works very well. But now I have it in here because I had to show you and be fancy. You know how that goes. All right, I'm just gonna squirt a little bit out here. And this is the satin as well. La, la, la. Now I'm not adding any water to thin this out. You can if you want, I'm not. Uh, my brush had some water on it, um, obviously. So I'm just gonna take this and I'm okay to blend a little bit because I can go back and add a little light if I want more light or white, even if I want, or an off-white, doesn't matter. This texture on here is everything. Now, one of my little tips to tell you is if you get down to the end where you can see you have a little bit of white, I go in with a little bit of water. You don't want too much, but it will help it kind of thin out a little bit. And you don't have to add too much paint. I'm very cheap with paint, I know. Some people, it drives nuts. Other people, they're like, yeah, we get it, we know. I don't know why I'm cheap with paint. But when I only have that little bit left, I really try to work it and make it work. Now know that the more you go back and forth like this, the more it's gonna blend. So, you know, keep that in mind. I am digging this over here. I want, I want this mostly covered. I really don't want a lot of the white to show because that's not what I'm going for. So I'm going to run this like this and see. Okay. Not hating it. It's not hating it at all. All right. Now look how easy background. Do you have to have a textured background? No, you don't. All right. We're just playing. I mean, I'm making a painting, but I mean, you're just, you know, you're playing, you're, you're seeing what you got here. Now you can see that I have it basically, look at that. Can you see that texture? How pretty? And like I said, we're going to hit that with some black, but I really like, I wish this light wasn't on here as much. I don't know why my lighting's off today, but Hey, so am I. So let's just enjoy the day. Shall we? I don't know why. Okay. Um, I'm gonna, I want a little darker down here. So I'm going to take more of the, was it the spearmint? No, I want more of this. I want more of the dark green, the lily pad, which of course I have that little thing in there. I'm going to pluck out. See, now I got, I swear, life, life. So I'm just, just a little bit. You see what I'm saying? And I'm just going to go right down here. Take it both ways. Oh, that's what she said. We're just going to kind of go here, go here. When you take it this way, you get, you know, you hit more peaks and valleys. I can see some white showing there. I don't want. And this is just going to be the mixed media background. This isn't, I'm not going to put, uh, I might not put stamps. I shouldn't say I'm not going to, cause I never know, but I'm not going to put, um, papers down or anything. I want this background to be my main background. So I'm going to go there, tap a little bit. Oh, this texture. So nice. So nice. And it's okay if you have a little bit of white, even if you don't have texture and it's just a little bit of canvas, you know, it just adds a little bit of something in there. Okay. So now what I'm going to do, I'm not even going to wet my brush. Um, I'm going to take some of my black. And this is just my pure black from Bulk Art, which I use constantly. And I'm going to do a little squirt. Give my hands a while. Oh, I'll do a little more of a squirt there, but hey, what are you going to do? I'm going to go in and I'm just hitting those tips. Just very, and I'm going to turn my brush a couple times so it gets on both. 
I'm going to hold it. I like to hold it at the end. And very lightly, very lightly, I'm just going to run it over. And it's going to hit that texture. And right now, yes, it, it's going to look a mess. It's all right. Take a little bit more. Turn your brush. Take it here. And then take it this way. And it'll just hit, you know, whatever you missed. I can see right here. Now, you know, the more you use it, the more it's going to blend. The more you, you know, go back and forth with your brush. That's up to you. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take a, you can use a paper towel. I'm just going to use one of my makeup sponges sitting here. And I'm going to go in and see if I like it blended. I don't. I'm going to go with my finger. I think because the texture it just makes it a little bit. Now wet your finger a little bit if you want. If you want to get some of it to blend. You don't necessarily want it to blend into gray. But if you think, oh, it's too much here to, you know, because this is, you, you're playing, you're not worrying. You can see how fast it dries. First of all, acrylic paint, the folk art acrylic paint especially, dries very quickly. So that's always a good thing. I'm going to take a little bit more because I really love this texture over here. And go a little darker. And really try to pull that up on the edges. Oh, I love this here. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, I love it. Now remember, this is the background, so don't get hung up on, oh, I don't like it, or, you know, whatever. Use whatever colors you like, first and foremost. And remember, we're going to put something on top of it at some point, so it's just... It's give and take. This is what I love. I don't know, some purple might be good too. Get those edges, corners. Love it, love it. Okay. So you see. Now, I mean, look, because now we have several layers. We have the layers of the uh, greens. We have three greens, right, that we laid down. And then we have the lighter, the black that we did, but which is a bit lighter. And then we went back with even darker. And look, just look how gorgeous that background is. And I love it. And that's just as simple as it is. Leave it dry. Now, here's a little tip. If you're like, oh, I did it, and, you know, I want to, I think it's a little too dark, I think it's this, you can definitely go back with your greens, take a little bit on a, a different brush or your makeup or your finger, whatever, on your makeup sponge, your, you know, you can scrape and go in and scrape some over uh, if you, you know, if you think like, oh, it's too much. Now, for me, I'm really digging over here. I really love this. So it almost looks like faux wood if you look at it, you know, in spite of the colors. But... I would probably, I'm going to end up putting something on this side because I'm really digging right here and I like that to show through. But, I mean, look. Look at that. It's just, that is as simple as it is. So simple. And look, if you only have two colors, do it. Maybe you want to do the light green on the bottom and a dark green on the top instead of the black or red or your favorite colors. Like I said, purple. Uh, but this is just such a simple, easy, mixed-media uh, background in a sense and mixed media meaning I put some um, texture paste and then the acrylic paint so and some water so I mean you know this is kind of what I call mixed media you know acrylic let's just say it's acrylic backgrounds for sake of argument but I love it it's gorgeous I'm gonna let this dry and you'll see me probably this week do uh, 
do something with this and make something. Uh, I will tell you this. You see how on, I use canvas boards usually because they're easier to ship um, when I sell. But before you get rid of whatever color you use there, take your brush or your makeup. Let's do the makeup sponge. And just go in and dab. I won't bore you on here the whole time, but just dab your corners, your outside. So then when you're done, you don't have to worry about going back in and doing it. And then you don't waste your paint. And you can use this on whatever, if you're using wood, if you're, if you're using a regular panel, you know, this is a flat panel if you're using a, a regular canvas and you'll just go in, like I was saying. And then you know, don't waste that paint, whatever you have left. Open up your art journal, get a piece of printer paper, get whatever you have. Maybe you have a canvas that you just don't dig and that you want to put, uh, you know, you want to paint over. Start using whatever extra paint you have. And you'll just go around and do that all around the edges. And then that'll be done. So then you can paint and you don't have to worry about it. So I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, leave me a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. I love to see that you guys, you know, are liking what I'm putting out. Leave me a comment. Of course, I love that as well. And if you're new to my channel, you just found me, saw this video, please subscribe down below. Click the bell next to it so you can get notified when I upload. Usually it's five to six times a day. Sometimes it's twice a day, little things like this. It depends. Um, and sometimes, you know, it's just one a day. And uh, if you ever have any requests, please, let me know down below. Plus, all my information is down below. You can find me everywhere. Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, uh, Google, Facebook, everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. Follow me. I love to follow back and see what you guys are doing. As always, please be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody else is fighting. I hope this kind of gets you guys in the mood for Halloween because it's a coming and it's my favorite. I will, uh, I'll see you guys in my next video. As always, please be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody else is fighting. Progress and not perfection. Love you guys. Bye-bye.